Hey, how is it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And in today's video, I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating. And this is a popular request that I get from a lot of my online followers and my coaching students. They wanna see how I eat in order to maintain a lean, healthy body weight. And for me, my goal right now is I wanna keep my body weight under 200 pounds. And that's where I feel good. That's where I feel healthy, I feel energetic. Uh, that's where I wanna be, all right? I don't wanna be heavy like I was in the past. I mean, if you're familiar with my story, I mean, a few years back, I really let myself go and got out of shape, got the so-called dad bod, as they say, and I don't wanna go back there. So my fighting weight, if you will, is around 195, and that's where I wanna stay. So what I have for you in this video is a full day of eating, and I've outlined it here, and I'll summarize it all for you throughout the video. But bottom line, what I did is as I was eating, I just broke out my phone and videotaped the foods that I was eating and put it together for you in this video. And quite honestly, it's it's nothing fancy, <laughs> right? This It's not some fancy gourmet meal plan or anything like that. This is basically healthy fast food because the cool thing you're gonna notice in this video is I have some strategies in place to make eating healthy very quick, very convenient, and it's kind of like a no-brainer, right? I, I don't wanna be over-stressing and overthinking about meal prep and, and making up these fancy recipes and all this kind of stuff. I, I actually enjoy a simple meal plan. Like all that matters to me is that I'm fueling the body, I'm getting the nutrition that I need, and that I'm satisfied and satiated. I don't like going through the day feeling hungry, right? That's one thing I do not like. I don't like feeling hungry, and I'm sure you can relate to this. Nobody likes feeling hungry. So the eating plan that I have laid out for myself right now, it allows me to feel energetic, feel full, feel satiated, feel comfortable, have the energy and the nutrients that I need to fuel my workouts and to feel good, and it allows me to stick to it without a lot of overthinking, a lot, a lot of, it's no big complicated meal prep or anything like that, as you'll see. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it now and I will take you through a full day of eating. And we're going to start off with breakfast, as some people say, the most important meal of the day. And for this one, I'm going to have some high protein oatmeal. And for this, uh, I'm going to mix up a combination of quick oats, uh, one third of a cup, and I'm going to put in one third of a cup of oat bran. And for this, I'm using the protein powder scoop to measure it out, which actually works out to a third of a cup. And then I'm going to put in a packet of cream of wheat. And I like this combination of oatmeal, oat bran, and cream of wheat because it gives it a nice, thick, creamy texture. And I'm also gonna add in a scoop of collagen powder. This is beef collagen. And I like this because one, it's gonna bump up the protein intake and collagen is really good for strengthening your joints, tendons, and ligaments. Uh, a lot of health benefits to collagen. So I like to add that in with my, uh, my eating. So I'm just stirring all the dry ingredients up. I got the kettle boiling here and I'm gonna add in some boiling water to mix up and cook the oatmeal and cream wheat and oat bran, all that stuff. It takes a little bit of trial and error to get the right ratio of water and that so you don't have it too soggy, but uh, I, I've done this enough that I, I know how much to use. So stirring it all up now, and then I'm just gonna cover it with a plate and let it sit and steam and cook. And after a few minutes, it's nice and thick and consistent texture to it. And once it's cooled for a few minutes, then I'm gonna add in a scoop of whey protein powder and this is going to add some more flavor and again, bump up the protein content of the oatmeal. So this is my high protein oatmeal recipe and it is a nice solid breakfast. This is gonna give me a good serving of protein, good serving of complex carbohydrates, some good fiber in there, and it's gonna to help to fuel me and give me some energy throughout the day. So just a quick summary here. For breakfast, I'm getting 56 grams of protein, 63 grams of carbohydrates, and six and a half grams of fat. All right, currently working on some customized fitness and nutrition programs for my coaching students, but it's time for a midday snack. And one of my favorite snacks now, I'm gonna have a Built Bar. This one is a mint brownie flavor Built Bar. I haven't tried this one before, so I'm looking forward to uh, trying this one. Like I say, I've never tried the uh, the uh, choc mint, sorry, mint brownie. Obviously it's chocolate and mint and brownie and all that good stuff. So there we go. So that is the Built Bar. 
Mm. I just want to give a quick shout out to Built Bar and they've been kind enough to sponsor this video and they are quickly becoming my new favorite protein bar. 18 different flavors made with whey protein isolate and they taste absolutely delicious. I mean, I even give them to my four-year-old son and he loves them. I mean, this is our treat when it comes to like candy bars or sweet tooth cravings or whatever. I'm satisfying them with the Built Bar because they taste that good. I mean, it almost feels like you're cheating on your diet, but you're doing so with high quality protein, low sugar, low fat, a healthy option. So again, big thanks to Built Bar for sponsoring the video. And if you'd like to try them for yourself, then I got a coupon code where you can save 20% Lee H20 and I have a link down in the description below. And I recommend you start with the variety pack just like I have here because with 18 different flavors, you're going to want to try them all and see which ones are your favorite. I like how they, they made these because they're, they're a soft and chewy bar. Like a lot of protein bars, they're really hard. Um, almost like eating a rock, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like they're very, very hard, but these are soft and chewy. I mean, it tastes like a dessert. It really does. This is my, like this is how I avoid the this the sweet or satisfy the sweet tooth craving is by having stuff like this. Mm. Now the macro breakdown of the Built Bar: we're getting 17 grams of protein, 18 grams of carbohydrates, and only 2.5 grams of fat. All right, this is another one of my staples, and it's a garden salad. And this is a very quick meal. What I do is I get the bags of pre-made salad. I buy these up at Costco in bulk, and I put in, you know, a large bowl of garden salad. And then for salad dressing, what I do is I use a little tiny bit of the dressing, and then I put in a few heaping spoonfuls of Greek yogurt, just plain fat-free Greek yogurt. And this gives me the, the creamy salad dressing texture that I like, and it's, you know, primarily protein you know very low in sugar very it's fat free so i mean it's a high protein uh, option to salad dressing so i got the salad already made up and what i do now is bump up the protein i'm going to add in some chicken and i buy this at costco it's grilled chicken breast uh, already chopped up so i mean this is convenient healthy fast food so this is one of my staples as i mentioned but what i'm going to do now is put this chicken salad on a wrap and it just helps to, uh, you know, add a bit of variety. So, I mean, this is going to be a nice, healthy, and satisfying lunch. A good combo of protein, veggies. Hey, buddy. Buddy, what's the matter? My arm hurts. Your arm hurts? How, what did you do to your arm? I banged it right on the chair. You banged your arm on the chair. Want me to kiss it better? Mm. Okay. Mm. Is it better? Yeah. Okay, wow. Now, that's how you heal an injury. So, we're getting a lunch and an injury, <laughs> injury rehab. <laughs> Kiss your arm better. So there we go. We're going to have a chicken wrap. Now, obviously, I got more salad than I do wrap, so I'm just going to have one wrap and eat the rest of the salad. But just wanted to uh, share that as another little way to uh, jazz things up and get a, uh, a good serving of protein and complex carbs and veggies all there at once. So chicken salad and a wrap. Lunch done. Okay, gonna get ready and make some blender ice cream right now. And this is one of my favorites. This is what allows me to satisfy my sweet tooth cravings without blowing my diet. Because this is high in protein, virtually fat free, very low in carbohydrates, very low in sugar, and it is filling and satisfying and delicious. Now, I've made this several times before, so if you probably see me make videos of this, but I've added a few extra ingredients to it lately to help uh, thicken it up. All right, so first ingredient, this is, the first ingredient is liquid egg whites. This is the base. So I'm putting in one cup. So you get one cup. One cup of liquid egg whites. I'm going to put in one scoop of collagen powder. This is collagen protein, and this helps to add a little bit of thickness. This is flavorless, so this is beef collagen, but there's virtually no flavor to it. There's a parrot in here. So one scoop of beef collagen protein. Hang on, Harvey. I'll, 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 make, I'll play in a minute. Next Can you make me another Yep, now in a minute. Next ingredient. This is xanathan gum. Here, just look at that. Xanathan gum. 
This is a, a baking ingredient. You see it in a lot of baked goods. You see it in a lot of um, like jams and jellies and preserves and stuff like that that they use to help thicken it up. This is like a natural fiber that really adds a lot of thickness. So you don't need a lot of this. Be very conservative. Just, just like uh, maybe like a, a half a teaspoonful of this xanathin gum. Pour that in. And it's gonna blend that up there in the blender. So the collagen and the xanathin gum. This is gonna add a lot of thickness and volume to our blender ice cream. Now I'm gonna add in some protein powder. You can use whatever flavor you like. This one happens to be a cookies and cream flavor, which is really nice for ice cream. So one scoop of protein, blend that up. I like to blend up the powders and the egg whites first so it's all mixed up nice. Now I'm gonna add in some frozen strawberries. And strawberries are amazing. Like, if you are looking for a quote-unquote diet food, strawberries are it. All right, there goes the collagen powder. <laughs> I'm taking this. You can take that, sure. See, just don't spill it. Um, anyway, strawberries are amazing because they are very low in calories, very filling, very high volume. In one cup of strawberries, there's 13 grams of carbohydrates, 50 calories, zero fat, only six grams of sugar. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. So I'm just going to dump in like a handful of strawberries here and start blending it up. And I'm just going to blend it up and add them as I go. So I want a nice, thick, consistent ice cream texture. I don't actually measure it. I just kind of keep going until it starts to thicken up. But ballpark, you're looking at about a couple, two cups of strawberries at least. There we go, it's getting nice and thick there now. There you go. Now look at this. Nice, thick ice cream consistency. And the xanathan gum and the collagen adds extra thickness to it, extra volume. So it's going to give you more eating satisfaction. It's not going to be as, as runny and have that smoothie type texture. It's more of a thick texture, a more thick consistency. So this is my treat. So, I mean, look at that. Look at the volume. The volume that I'm eating here. It's like you're eating like a big old pint of ice cream. It's delicious. It's satisfying. It's pure protein, virtually fat free, and very low in sugar. So this is my secret for having a lot of eating satisfaction, staying lean, and uh, enjoying the process. So, enjoy. Mm, damn good. All right, so for dinner this evening, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna have a quick meal with a frozen dinner. Beef and broccoli frozen dinner. Now, I know some people are looking at this and thinking, whoa, what are you doing eating frozen dinners? But these are actually pretty good if you shop around and you get the right ones. So. This particular one, again, beef and broccoli, uh, has pretty darn good macro ratios. So you look at the nutritional label, make sure you know what you're getting. But this one has five grams of fat, 55 grams of carbs, 19 grams of protein, only 340 calories. So it's a nice little portion controlled meal, a good serving of protein, veggies, and carbohydrates. So it's actually pretty well balanced. Now I know a lot of people get the, you know, you might hire a meal prep company to make meals for you to have stuff like that, or you can, go out and actually shop around and probably pick up some yourself. So I don't eat them that often, but they are convenient to have from time to time. If you want like a, a healthy fast food option, sometimes frozen dinners are a way to go. And this one, I got it heating up here now in the oven and it's uh, looking like it's pretty much ready to go. So that is an option, you know, you can have those and that's gonna be my dinner this evening. So it was a portion controlled, healthy, well-balanced meal with a good serving of protein, veggies and complex carbs. All right, we're getting ready now to have a bedtime snack. And for this one, we're gonna have banana and peanut butter. But instead of regular peanut butter, I'm going to use powder peanut butter. You like powder peanut butter when I mix it up? Yeah. This is PB and Me powder peanut butter. And the reason why I like this one. How about you can be in Daddy's video? Yeah, well, sh Mommy's making the video, or Mommy's shooting the video, I should say. We're, we're in the video, yeah. Uh, the reason why I like powdered peanut butter is because it's much lower in fat than regular peanut butter. It has about 80% of the fat removed. 
And what I'm going to do now is show you my way of mixing up powder peanut butter. Because normally all you do is you take peanut butter and you add water to it, stir it up. But it tastes a little bland when you do it that way. So I have a little, uh, little hack, a little trick to make it taste a bit nicer. So I'm going to take a, a heaping spoonful and a bit. So a couple heaping spoonfuls of powder peanut butter. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of sea salt and a packet of stevia. And this will give it a, a sweet and salty taste that you sometimes get with you know, your regular uh, store-bought peanut butter. And this will make it much more enjoyable. So I just put the packet of stevia in there, a few shakes of salt, just stir that powder up. So just mix the dry ingredients there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water. With this, just very small amount of water. And we start stirring. And I'd rather you be very conservative with the water because you don't want to have it too runny. I need a little tiny bit more. So just a little tiny, a little splash more. And just play around with a little bit of trial and error, but I always go conservative with water or else it'll be too runny. That actually looks pretty good. So you can see it's actually coming into a nice thick peanut butter consistency right now. So this tastes sweet and salty and peanutty, so it's got that peanut butter taste, but only a fraction of the fat of regular peanut butter. So it's a lower calorie alternative, so you can actually eat more of it for less calories and enjoy it. So that's my pre-bedtime snack. I'm going to have the peanut butter and the banana, and I'm also going to have a cup of cottage cheese to go along with that as well for a bit of extra protein. And I like the cottage cheese because it's the casein protein, so it's a slower releasing protein for a nighttime snack. I so, want to talk to you, Dad. You want to talk to me? I'm going to have some banana and peanut butter. Would you like a little bit? I want to talk to Mommy. <laughs> Maybe. Hang when on. When you're done, I'll try some. Okay, here, I'm going to put a little bit of peanut butter on my banana. Mmm. Would you like a little bit? <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Mm. We got peanut butter and banana. And right, I'm going to get some uh, cottage cheese to go along with that as well. One cup of cottage cheese. And that will be my bedtime snack. So that concludes the full day of eating. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you know what to do. You post them down below. Mommy? And <laughs> now just a quick summary and recap of it all. I have all the different macros and ratios listed out for you. So a total of 2,530 calories, uh, 253 grams of protein, 285 grams of carbohydrates, 42 grams of fat. It was a little low on the fat today. I will admit that. Some days I, I, usually, I usually go a little higher with the fat, but today was a little low. Uh, but still, the totals worked out. It was around the 2,500 calorie mark. And again, a well-balanced meal focusing on healthy, natural, unprocessed foods. So that's what I normally eat. That's a typical day's eating for me. Now, I mean, it may vary, but some of the staples, like I always have the salad. That's a non-negotiable. Every single day I'm gonna have a salad. Pretty much every day I'm gonna have that blender ice cream just because I enjoy it. It's like my dessert. Uh, pretty much every day I'm gonna have a protein bar in there somewhere uh, because again, it's so quick and convenient. Now, of course, dinner is like the wild card because that's the one where we sit down with the family and we'll vary that depending on what we're in the mood for. So sometimes we'll make up a nice recipe, um, you know, but it's always going to be protein, veggies, and some sort of complex carbs, right? It, it, that's what it is, but it can vary. I mean, if it's nice out, hey, we might go out and fire up the barbecue, grill up some steaks, uh, you know, have, have, a, have a nice meal that way. Uh, other times it might be like a meat and vegetable stir fry. I mean, who knows? I mean, it's, it's kind of like that's the wild card meal. But again, always focusing on the natural unprocessed foods, the protein and the veggies and the complex carbs to keep things in good ratios. And again, that's a, a sample total day eating. Uh, hopefully you found it helpful. Hopefully you picked up a few tips. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, post them down in the comments below. And again, I want to give a big thanks to Built Bar because they were the sponsors of this video. So if you haven't already done so, check them out. I'll have a link down in the description below where you can go order some Built Bars. And I actually have a coupon code where you can save some money in the process. So again, go check those out. And I'll be talking to you in a future video coming soon. Take care. Over and out.